Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about Chucky episode 8, which was the season 1 finale. This episode is titled, An Affair to Dismember. And there is a lot that happens in this episode. Things go from crazy to, like, really crazy. Let's just start with what happened right in the beginning of the episode, leaving off right where episode 7 ended, where Junior killed his father. And I'll talk a little bit more about all that in a minute, but, you know, Andy knocks on the door and he says, first of all, let me just say, he says, is your dad home? And then he says, yes. Let me just say, that is a line from a film that I'm making that hasn't come out yet, that I'm currently editing, so just so you know. But anyways, sorry. So Junior and Andy just have this really weird interaction, and I, I don't really get it. Like, Andy just goes and snoops around, and Junior just kind of lets him. It's so weird. Like, Andy's not a police, is he? He doesn't, like, ever show a badge or anything. I don't remember junior ever knowing anything about andy maybe he did from the news or you know devin and jake and lexi talking about him but i thought he wasn't really a part of that conversation so i'm not really sure but junior has a really big shift in this episode he's basically like a psychopath now and he's completely okay that he killed his father even though I don't really think he is. By the end of the episode, it becomes a little more clear that he isn't okay with all that business. But, goodness, he was a little crazy in this episode, let me just say that. But, it's just such a weird interaction they have. It's like a whole, I don't even know how long the scene was, but them just like going around, and then I guess Chucky just threw Junior's dad's body like down the laundry chute or something. I guess rich people have a laundry chute in their house, but anyways. So, now there's like multiple Chucky dolls, including this one that was at Lexi's house, and now it's like trying to kill them, and he says the line, here's Chucky, which is going into the show that's like all I knew about Chucky that he said the line here's Chucky that's all I knew so I know that's a reference to one of the movies or maybe multiple movies and yes I feel like they made a couple references that I didn't maybe catch but like I don't know if comment down below if like Chucky in the toilet meant something please I, I didn't mention, but I have not seen the other Chucky movies. I'm sorry. But I'm assuming something happened with Chucky in the toilet before, because it seemed like we were supposed to know what was going on with that. Um, one thing I don't quite get, maybe this is something that's referred to in the other movies, is why Chucky bleeds. And, oh my goodness, why does he bleed so much? <laughs> like, he's two feet tall and he's bleeding like a gallon and a half of blood <laughs> it's just like wait what I, d I don't understand how he could bleed that much you know just throughout different chucky dolls are killed in this episode and especially when tiffany as jennifer tilly kills chucky she like cuts his head off and it's it's just so much blood i'm like what and the where is all this blood coming from he's just like filled with blood but it's weird because it's like he's a doll why would he have blood i know it's like a human possessing a doll but the doll itself shouldn't have blood i i just don't understand that but there's a lot of things logically in this episode and the show that the writers just they don't even care about and honestly I don't either it's like this is kind of like a campy horror almost a little bit of a comedy too this episode I'm, I'll get to that later but there's a lot of funny parts in this episode that I was laughing a lot but overall this was quite an intense episode and probably the best episode of the season so far honestly probably the most violent too there was a lot of blood goodness gracious um <laughs> But uh, towards the end of the episode, Junior nearly kills Lexi. You know, there's this kind of intense cross-cutting scenes between Junior and Lexi, and then Jake and Chucky, and then obviously there's another Chucky with 
<laughs> Junior and Lexi. So there's a lot going on here. Um, but ultimately, Junior decides not to kill Lexi, and he kills Chucky pretty easily somehow. But in the process, Chucky also stabs Junior, and Junior dies, which was kind of sad. I mean, Junior was not, like, my favorite character, but they've killed a lot of people in this show that are decent people. So it was pretty sad that... Um, Junior ended up dying too. At the beginning of the show, he was actually a pretty good person, but it's weird how the things have shifted and Lexi has become a good person. It's so weird. At the beginning of the show, she was an absolutely horrible person, but by the end of the season, she's a pretty decent person. And she also kind of says that and realizes that and it's weird like she's like best friends with Jake and Devin now even though she bullied them at the beginning of the show and Junior he was kind of like he was nice but he just kind of went along with what Lexi did but then by the end of the show he kills his father and I don't think his father deserved that um I think that was just, there was some buildup, like obviously he was annoyed that his father was forcing him to do things, but to go to the extreme of killing his father just didn't really make sense. So that was, I had kind of had a little issue with that. I just, I was like, well, maybe talk it out. Maybe that would have been a better way to do that because it's not like Junior's father was a horrible person. He. He was flawed in that he was forcing Junior to do something he didn't want to do, but that's pretty much it. And obviously when Junior's mom died, uh, his father started getting a little bit more like his uncle or Jake's father and kind of like a little, uh, not, not necessarily abusive yet, but it was getting close to that. So we see Junior with the villain group and he's kind of enjoying it a bit. Also kind of just like laughing along. You, you don't really know if he likes it or not. You know, there's a point where Chucky wants Junior to kill Nika, but then Tiffany ends up killing Chucky. It's kind of similar to the end of the episode where Chucky wants Junior to kill Lexi, but Junior kills Chucky. Um, but anyways, it's kind of a weird sort of sequence, but also a little funny. Devin's just sitting in the corner tied up, like freaking out. And then Junior's just kind of like going along with everything. And I, earlier on when I first met Tiffany, I wasn't a huge fan. I was just kind of like, oh, why are they introducing these or reintroducing these characters that I don't know, but she's definitely grown on me. I think she's, she's very evil, but she's also very funny, so it's kind of like a love-hate sort of situation watching her in the show, but, um, I'm kind of glad Tiffany makes it out in the end. I was, you know, maybe a little worried she would die. Um, I will just say that poor Nika, my goodness, she does not deserve what she's gone through. And by the end of the show, Tiffany, like, instead of killing her, just cuts her arms and legs off, which is just a horrible, like, why would Tiffany do that? It's just not, not, not cool. So I hope Nika eventually can get out of the torture. I don't know. At this point, I think she would rather be dead. I mean, my goodness. But no, hopefully Tiff or Nika can have a happy-ish ending. I don't know if this, I don't know if this is leading to a happy ending or not. Um, but I will say I was kind of, I don't know if impressed is the word, but I think Jake did a good job kind of battling Chucky at the end. He was really sticking up for himself. There were definitely some cheesy lines in that moment, but I was like, oh, I don't even care. It's it's powerful stuff. But anyways, he ends up choking Chucky to death, which was kind of a, a little bit too much. His like eyes fell out, a lot of blood. Again, didn't really make sense, but oh well. Um, we just kind of let some things slide in this show. Um, but by the end of the episode, there's a few things lingering for season two. We have all these Chucky dolls, and we're not really sure if they're going to end up somewhere. Obviously, Andy has the truck, but then Tiffany, now in doll form, has a gun on him. 
um, I guess. That's, that was interesting. Um, and then I'm not really sure if Kyle died or not. It's kind of unclear. Also have no idea how Devin escaped the house. I thought he was tied up, but maybe Andy helped him. I don't know. And I don't know what's gonna... I'm hoping that Jake and Lexi and Devin will still be the stars of the show, but... I mean, Tiffany's great as well, obviously Chucky, um, and then Andy's, Andy and Nika. I like Nika too, goodness, I, I don't know what's gonna happen with Nika. Um, but comment down below how you like the show, and let me know if you watched the movies before, anything I should know about, you know, little Easter eggs or anything like that. Um, let me just mention some of the funny things that happened in this episode when Tiffany and the Chucky doll kind of like were reunited. It was so funny. Chucky just like runs over like a little baby and then <laughs> Tiffany like tickles him. It's, it's so, it's so weird and creepy, but also funny. Um, and then it's, Chucky is such a darkly humorous character because they're like talking about his dad, throwing him in the laundry, and then Chucky's just like, I'm hungry, are you? <laughs> and that's the end of that scene. Um, and then, uh, I've kind of mentioned this already, but Junior just kind of goes along with Chucky's dark humor in this episode, which is kind of interesting. I would have liked to have seen Junior kind of in his descent to evil, like as a season long arc. Um, but I think Jake and Lexi had some really good arcs in this season. Um, another thing Chucky says is referring to, like, who we can kill, and he says, no babies, we're not savages. I'm just like, oh my gosh. Um, and then when Jake is fighting Chucky, I don't know, I don't remember exactly what Chucky said. He's like, oh, you're stronger now. Which is so weird. Jake makes, or Chucky makes a good point. How is he so strong? I don't even know. Uh, I really don't know. Um, but then Jake's just like, I've been doing push-ups. So cheesy, but I didn't care. Um, and then the end recap, I don't know if he stayed for that, but Chucky kind of recaps all his kills of this season in a darkly funny way in typical Chucky fashion. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching this review. Let me know of any other shows you would like me to review next. In the meantime, before Chucky Season 2 in 2022, like, subscribe, comment, and share if you want. But whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Thanks for watching, and God bless.